Good morning, Logan County. I'm Brian. And I'm Lindsay. Let's start our day with a little inspiration. Today's daily devotional comes from Ephesians 2, 6. For he raised us from the dead along with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms because we are united with Christ Jesus. Welcome to Logan County Breakfast, where we bring you the best start to your day right here in Logan County, Arkansas. We're here to keep you informed, entertained, and inspired. So grab your coffee and let's get started. We have an incredible story for you today, one that shows the power of a simple gesture and the lasting impact it can have over the years. We'll get into it right after this brief message. Welcome to Penjamo Mexican Restaurant, where tradition and community come together. For over two decades, Penjamo has been more than just a place to dine. It has been a pillar of support for Logan County. From sponsoring Little League baseball teams to hosting unforgettable graduation parties, Penhamo has been there every step of the way. At Penhamo, they take pride in nurturing relationships that last a lifetime. Their commitment to the community runs deep, just like the flavors of their authentic Mexican cuisine. Join them tonight and experience the warmth of Penhamo, where every meal is a celebration of their rich heritage and enduring community spirit. Penhamo Mexican Restaurant, serving Logan County since 2003. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Mary Garman. Good morning, Tammy and Kenny Perry. Good morning, Tommy Joe. And good morning, Todd. Good morning, everyone. And uh, Tammy and Kenny mm -hmm. Perry said, be in prayers for four seniors in Panama, Oklahoma that were in a car wreck yesterday. We will definitely pray. Definitely do that. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, this story takes us back almost 50 years to the Vietnam War, where a young helicopter sniper named John Metzler received something very special that kept him going through these some of the darkest days. Mm -hmm. John, just 23 years old at the time, was stationed overseas, facing the daily challenges and brutalities of war. But in the midst of all that, he received a small note on Christmas Day that would make all the difference. It was a simple Christmas card from a little girl named Donna Kay, who was in the sixth grade at St. Mark's Lutheran Church and School. In her card, Donna wrote, Dear Serviceman, I want to give my sincere thanks for going to war to fight for us. The class hopes you will be able to come home. John kept that card all these years. Now 71 and living in Wendell, Idaho, he still treasures that note. He told reporters, fact is, I think it means more today than it did when I got it. Recently, John asked his family to help track down Donna, who sent that note. So long ago, they told him they couldn't find her. But, turns out, they had something up their sleeves. That's right. Unbeknownst to John, his family had actually found Donna, who's now living in Florida, and they arranged a surprise reunion. After almost 50 years, they brought Donna out to Idaho to finally meet the man who held on to her kind words for all those decades. As you can imagine, it was an incredibly emotional meeting. That one Christmas card written with a little bit of hope and a lot of gratitude made such a lasting impact on both their lives. It's a reminder that sometimes the smallest gestures can mean the world to someone else. You never know what kind of difference you might make, <clears throat> might be making with a simple act of kindness. That was tough to read. Let me tear up. Yeah. Good morning, Dennis and Wanda. Good morning. Here's a look at today's weather in Logan County, sponsored by Baker Shelter Insurance. Today, mainly sunny, high near 94. Tonight, clear skies, low near 71 degrees. Sorry, Mary Garman. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Good morning, Lane Cooper. Good morning. Mary says, do you have to start the story with, start with a story that brings tears? Well, at least they're, they're happy tears, tears yeah. yeah. Well, whose birthday is today? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not sure.
Today is Logan King's birthday. Happy birthday, Logan. If you see Logan, be sure and wish him happy birthday. You can submit birthdays to us via Facebook Messenger or by emailing us at contact at coldcreekmedia.net. Uh, stick around for our Logan County Breakfast Daily Trivia and more. Oh, did you get us switched over to shelter insurance? Actually, I found a deal online. You did? Does your deal come with award-winning customer service? Oh. I'm not sure. Does the deal include a local agent? Doesn't actually say. Can we create a customized plan that fits our needs? Hmm. Let's just call the local shelter agent. For insurance that fits just right, find a shelter agent near you. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Contact Baker's Shelter Insurance in Booneville at 479-675-2782. Rice Lawn Care and Tree Services, your trusted partner for tree care in Boonville and surrounding areas. Specializing in expert tree care and removal, they handle every job with precision. Stacy in Boonville said, Kevin and his crew did an excellent job removing three trees. Great price and quality work, highly recommend. From hazardous tree removals to routine maintenance, they've got you covered. Serving Boonville and the surrounding communities with honest service and competitive prices. Call Rice Lawn Care and Tree Services today at 479-206-1582 for a free tree consultation. Good morning, Derek Wagner. Good morning. Um... Mary Garman, Lindsay says thank you. (laughs) (laughs) It's Earth Tone. It's my favorite. She wears. I like Earth Tone. She loves wearing Earth Tone. I'm trying to get out of that, but I do feel most comfortable if I'm in Earth Tone. (laughs) Earth Tones are her safe space. Yes. (laughs) Today is National Pawpaw Day, held every third Thursday in September. This day celebrates the tropical looking fruit native to North America, which tastes like a cross between a mango, banana, and sometimes other fruits. With over 60 varieties and a unique creamy texture, it's a wonder that more people don't know about the pawpaw. Also known as a Kentucky banana and hillbilly mango, the pawpaw grows all across the South and is the largest fruit native to the United States. Although we don't see it on store shelves much today, the pawpaw was an important part of traditional Native American diets and is used for various purposes today. So, happy National Pawpaw Day. So, can we grow pawpaws here? They do grow in Arkansas. I don't know that they grow around here. Um, But has it creamy? Yeah, it's like a custard. Have you had one? No, I've always wanted one. So, could you make it like a pawpaw pie? I don't know that you can... I'm not sure. I've never seen any recipes with them. Hmm. I'll but, look into it. But I, I've always wanted to gr- try to grow a pawpaw here. There is a place that's in, like, there's a pawpaw, um, would it be an orchard farm? I'm mm-hmm. not sure. But there there is one in, like, central Arkansas that, that you can order them from, like the trees, or, or you can go and take a tour. It is now time for our news brief. This month, Earth will be visited by a new mini-moon in the form of asteroid 2024 PT5. Unlike our primary moon, which has been with us for over 4 billion years, this mini-moon will only stay for about two months before returning to its place in the asteroid belt orbiting the sun. Scientists have identified this upcoming gravitational capture event and explained that the asteroid belongs to the Arjuna asteroid belt, part of the near-Earth object population of asteroids and comets. This mini-moon event, these mini-moon events, where small bodies become temporarily bound to the Earth, are relatively frequent, with several events happening per decade. Once 2024 PT-5 has completed its role as a mini-moon, it will return to its sun-centered orbit. 
Unfortunately, it won't be visible to most sky watchers due to its small size and dimness. But professional astronomers using appropriate telescopes will be able to observe it. Researchers also plan to carry out observations to better understand the nature of the asteroid. Okay, you're going to have to explain this to I feel like since we've been covering space a little bit, I'm more confused about space. We have how many moons going on? We got we, a mini moon coming to Earth now? Well, um... Maybe I need to be paying attention, getting a telescope, and getting with it. It's actually an asteroid, <clears throat> but it will be caught in our orbit for a short amount of time before it is thrown, flung back out into its, into the asteroid belt. In local news, the Boonville October Days Festival is quickly approaching. Do you have a little farmer who could take the stage? Maybe a mini scarecrow or a tiny pumpkin? There's room for all the little ones to showcase their unique personalities at this fun and festive event. Registration forms are available at the South Logan County Chamber of Commerce, and an online form can also be found on their Facebook page. The festival, scheduled for October 12th, promises to be a day filled with fun and activities, bringing the whole community together. Be sure to mark your calendars for this exciting event. So does it cost anything to put your kids in the pageant? Or? Um, I'm sure there's probably a registration fee. Like a $10? But, yeah. We'll have to find out. That's a good question, by the way. And I was talking to Todd Dedman yesterday, and we were, you know, yes, yesterday's news story was about Jupiter and how we're sending a probe to, mm. kind of, to uh, Europa. I thought that Jupiter had eight moons or something like that. It has 95 moons. And they're still discovering more. There were nine discovered in 2017. It's like, how did I not know that? Mm -hmm. 95 moons. I don't know what to say about that. 95 moons. Mary Garman said there was a song, Picking Up Pawpaws, Putting in Your Pocket. Old song when I was a child mm -hmm. many moons ago. Oh, I just <laughs> sang that to my husband, Mary. <laughs> oh, I love that. It is now time for our trivia. And this week's trivia theme is 80s sitcoms. This 80s show ran for over a decade. Norm Peterson was one of the main characters. What show was it? If you know, leave a comment. Oh, yeah. just on Facebook. Or email us at contact at coldcreekmedia.net. As for yesterday's trivia, Michael Knight and Kit appeared in what show? Rusty Shackleford over on YouTube said Knight Rider. You are correct. Good job. That was one of my favorites. Growing up, I loved Knight Rider. And... You know, he had a watch where he could talk to the car. And now we have... Mm -hmm, that's what I was just thinking. Watches we can talk to people. We could probably You could probably even talk to your car, to your Tesla. I don't know. If you can't, we need to invent that. I think they probably oh, already they have. They might have. As we wrap up today's show, we'd like to leave you the motivational quote to carry you through the day. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Marcus Aurelius. Very good. Very true. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for joining us on Logan County Breakfast. We'll see you tomorrow morning with more news, weather, and inspiration. Have a great day. Have a blessed day, everyone.